And here's four more. The, uh, this is uh, another Chinese lookout, a big, I think I said bluish plate. It's quite large. I uh, thought this was a pretty good deal. It, it's got uh, calcites growing on a couple of the faces on the, on the base also. It's not bad, not a bad piece for $200. I thought it was pretty good too. It's a very large. You can stand up like this beautifully. I have the locality, but I'll put it on the put it on the posting. It's another bluish one from China too. I'll get the locality. It's a very very clear crystals. This is not all the way around. This is a looks like it's chipped off of a uh, of a matrix, and uh, but everything else is really good shape. This was $60. I thought it was a pretty damn good deal, too. Then a couple from Shuang Hua Pu. And you can tell these by these, this crystal face right here. It's a, a cube modified by a cube. Or maybe modified by a dodecahedron or something. I don't know. I'm not a crystallographer. <laughs> Mark could figure that out. But they're just a very, very clear piece. It's uh, just amazing. But it's very distinguishable flattened edges of the cube. Uh, very pleasant green. And another one also from the same locality, Shuang Hua Pu. And you can see that the uh, the cubes are truncated. And it's, it's just amazing. There's a big cube at the bottom. But it's not complete. It's on the bottom. But it could, could stand up like this though and show up real nicely. And that one was $100. Again, this one was uh, was 125. This one was 60, and this one was 200. So that's 12.